Hey guys, and welcome back. So in my last video, I did the pros that I have about being a dental hygienist. So in today's video, I'm going to be talking about my list of cons. So the number one con that I think any dental hygienist would say about our career is that there's a lot of repetitiveness. So there's a ton of monotony. Generally, we're doing the same thing every single day. We have a very set schedule. It can make work seem very dull and uninteresting, and that's what causes a lot of dental hygiene burnout for hygienists, is just because you get sick of doing the same thing. Now granted, of course, every patient is different, every mouth is different, every person's situation is different, but at the end of the day, you're doing basically the same thing every single day on every patient. Of course, there's obviously different treatments for different patients that they need. For me, I start on the very same tooth every single time when I'm scaling, and I also end on the very same tooth every single time I'm scaling, so I have a pattern of exactly how I clean. And if I go off of that pattern, I will forget where I'm at and I will forget which ones I've already done. Number two, constant pressure. So it is very stressful to be a dental hygienist because we're constantly on a time crunch. We have a specific schedule that we are to follow every single day with our list of patients. And in that list, we are scheduled to be with a patient for a certain amount of time. So we have a ton of things that we have to get done within that allotted amount of time. So it can be very stressful to be able to maintain balance to get all of their needs done, but at the same time also be attentive to the patient and be listening to what they have to say. Constantly being pressured for time is really, really stressful, so you really learn how to manage your time for really quickly. Number three, it can be really gross. We see a ton of nasty things several, several times throughout the day. So we see leftover food, hair, a ton of calculus, a lot of heavy stain, a lot of mobility, a lot of bleeding, a lot of periodontal disease, and we see a ton, or I should say smell a ton of halitosis. So obviously we have our gloves on and our mask on, so it really makes it more bearable, but I do have to say that overall it's really not as bad as people probably think. If we were still practicing hygiene the way that they used to, without gloves and without a mask, I would be totally out. But because I'm wearing those gloves, I'm not actually touching anything, so it doesn't really gross me out as much as you might think it would. Number four, it is really, really hard on your body. But nothing drives me nuts more than when a patient comes in and says, oh my gosh, you're so lucky you just get to sit all day. Yes, I get it. We don't have to do a lot of manual, physical, heavy lifting labor, but doing our job is very painful. Maintaining a grasp on an instrument, a little tiny instrument all day long is very straining on your hand and your wrist. Carpal tunnel syndrome is very common among hygienists. And being slumped over with your elbow and your back and your neck and your shoulders is very uncomfortable. So if I could just sit like this and take care of my patients, that would be wonderful, but that doesn't happen because patients aren't always in the right spot. You can't always get them in the spot you want them to be in and they're not always cooperative. You're constantly like this in a very strained position and you have a lot of people who tend to fight you whenever you're doing their cleaning. So they either have a tongue that just like drives you nuts and is constantly getting in the way and has to be like paying attention and looking at every little thing you do. It's like you touch a tooth and their tongue is there, like checking everything out. Or you have someone who has like super tight cheeks. So anytime you try to pull their cheeks out so you can actually see what you're looking at, they constantly are sucking them back in. The worst is when you get someone who has a strong lip. When you're trying to work on a patient, you're trying to see what you're doing, you're trying to hold their lip out of the way so you can't hit them with your instrument and they keep pulling their lip in. That is the most frustrating thing in the entire world because you gotta remember that whenever someone is doing that, they're pulling in and you are straining to push out. So you constantly have that constant push and pull strain on your shoulder. If it wasn't for frequent massages, I would die. If you wanna know how much pain I'm in as a dental hygienist, ask my husband because I am constantly laying on the floor, stretching in all these weird positions because it hurts. So when we ask you to be cooperative and do certain things, please just do it because you only have to be in a 
maybe not so ideal position for a few minutes versus us having to be in a not so ideal position for eight to 10 hours every single day. Number five, lack of benefits. So as a dental hygienist, it is really hard to, for one, get an office where you can get full-time hours, but also get an office that is willing to give you benefits. So obviously this is different for everybody. But in my personal experience, I have only come across one opportunity that was willing to give full-time hours and all the full benefits. Yeah, I'm not full-time, but I'm as full-time as I can be for the hours that we were open. I still get vacation, I still get paid sick time, and I get 401k, but I do not get any healthcare benefits. So luckily, I'm able to get that through my husband, but if it wasn't for him, I would be screwed. Most dental offices are really small, so they don't have enough employees or enough hours to where they have to offer you benefits, so they don't. Number six, angry patients. So as I mentioned in a few of my other videos, a lot of people who come to the dentist are not happy about being there. You go out, you call a patient back, you can tell that they're crabby, you can tell that they're angry. They sit in the chair, hi, how are you today? I hate being here. Okay, nice to see you. So any health changes? No. And it really just puts a damper on your day because I get it. I mean, someone is up in your personal space and it's uncomfortable, but you came, this is my job, so do you want me to do my job or not? It's really hard when you have patients like that because it really just, it puts a damper on your day. You could be having a really great day and then you just get a patient who's just crabby and wants nothing to do with you and doesn't want to talk to you and you know they may be a really great person, but they just hate your job. And they will tell you that. They will say, don't take it personally, I just hate what you do. And I get it, and it's fine, but at least just try to be polite to us because we really are just trying to help. Number seven, raises. So because dental hygienists come out of school making decent money, we don't get consistent raises as much as maybe other careers would. Again, this varies from every hygienist, but for me personally, Getting a dollar raise every single year is not really realistic because we still have to be able to make money from what we are billing out for the patient. So there's a certain margin of how much the procedure costs and what we're billing out to the patient, what the insurance is actually covering, and what I'm getting paid. So when you think of the overhead costs, it still has to be worth it to be able to have us there to be able to have them make money as well. Number eight, I feel like a lot of people don't respect our profession. I feel like a lot of people don't realize how much we have to learn in order to do our jobs. I constantly am being asked, oh, so are you gonna be a dentist? No, I'm the middleman. I wanna be a dental hygienist. Yes, I realize that dentists obviously make a lot more money, but I personally love preventative dentistry. I hate restorative dentistry. I think it's very boring and I don't, I wouldn't like it. So no, I don't want to be a dentist and I'm not training to be a dentist. I'm not going to school to be a dentist. You don't have to be a dental hygienist first in order to be a dentist. And with that being said, a lot of people ask, so are you like a dental assistant? No. And I never realized how many people don't get the difference between a hygienist and an assistant until I started working as one. <laughs> and if you think about it, the names hygienist, hygiene, takes care of hygiene, assistants, assist, doctor. Again, I don't like restorative dentistry, so I don't want to be an assistant. I was trained as an assistant right out of high school. Assistants do a lot of work and they do a lot of different work than what hygienist does. Like our jobs are completely different but for as much work as they do, they do not get paid enough. Number nine, you are stuck inside all day long. So I have always said that I wish that I could work in a practice where I could work outside or at least have like my room be glass. So that way, like when a patient was looking up in the chair, they got to see the sky and they got to see the trees. And I just feel like it would make them a lot more comfortable than being stuck in a room where they feel like they're trapped. I personally love being outside. I love summertime. Where I live, you get summer for like two months, so you really, really have to appreciate it when it's here. And I just wish that I could be outside. I hate being stuck inside all day. Number 10, it is really hard to find full-time hours. So as I said, finding full-time in dentistry is really hard because a lot of offices aren't even open 
for a full-time schedule, but if finding full-time hours is something that you really want, you may very well have to work at two different offices to be able to fill up your work week to get that amount of hours. I personally work at two offices. One of us I work five days a week, probably about 30 hours a week, and another office I work at just one afternoon a week, and it's about five to six hours. So I work probably 35 to 36 hours a week, and that is totally enough for me. But I also have four jobs. I have two other jobs that I have. So I am booked with my week, and I don't want to work any more than that. So there you have it. There are my 10 pros and now my 10 cons for being a dental hygienist. Like I said, this is just my personal opinion. This is how I personally feel. Obviously, everyone's situation is going to be different. Everyone's perspective on their career is going to be different, but that is mine. So thank you so much for watching. If you didn't watch my pro video, I will link it below for you to see. But make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of my videos. Don't forget to leave a comment below. Make sure you like the video if you did, and I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.